West Coast Comics. So, moving on. Uh, from uh, Pat Zalatoris. Cool vid. So, I'm guessing a Bushin, sorry if I misspelled it, is like a stuffed cat with different clothing on it. Uh, well, you did actually misspell it. It's Pushin. Poo with a P. Uh, U-S-H-E-E-N. Pushin. But, other than that, you got it, you got it dead on. Because, yes, it's a little toy stuffed cat with different clothing on it. That's what he is. I actually have a, uh, somewhere back there, I have a Pushing that's a Godzilla Pushing. You just, that's what he is. Uh, from Parabelle, our sweet, lovely Parabelle, she says, uh, three things. Did you get a new camera? The lighting looks fantastic. Really? No. I didn't get a new camera. I just started learning how to edit ever so slightly. <laughs> Uh, next, so sad about Carrie Fisher, a.k.a. Princess Leia. She will be missed. Yes, she will. And last, I like the lighting in this video. Looks great. Thank you. Well, kind of the same thing as the first one, but that's great. From, uh, yeah, uh, ACPACP85. I'm going to say ACPACP85. If that's wrong, let me know. I don't know. Uh, I'm a New Yorker, and I'm a big fan of you, so when are you and the other Space Rangers coming to New York City? I'm getting tired of seeing JDF in New York all the time, lol. <laughs> I hope we can fix that for you. I really do. I definitely hope so. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, from Dietran, number one, ever thought about doing martial arts Hong Kong style films or action scenes? I think you'll look great doing the fight scenes and choreography. Ever thought about doing like a one minute fight scene for YouTube? I also like how you do your kias uh, on the show. Very enthusiastic and epic. Do you think you can give a little, uh, give us a little preview of it now? No. No, I can't. <laughs> no. Uh, have I ever thought about doing a little fight scenes or anything for YouTube? Not really, but I mean, that certainly not out of the realm of possibilities. So, I mean, maybe that's something I can look into. Um, uh, number two, the last one was, LOL, uh, LOL, last time I asked you Spiral Saber versus a drill from Home Depot. I brought that up because I saw a worker, he pulled out a drill from his tool belt and he yelled out, yes, you can yell this out if you want to right now, Spiral Saber. And he began drilling a screw on the door hinge at Home Depot. Okay. I... Honestly, I have a very hard time believing that scenario, but maybe it happened. I mean, that's crazy. I also saw a man in line at a self-checkout register. He swiped his card, and he looked around to make sure nobody was looking. He yelled out, let's rock it, and entered his pin. Again, hard time believing that, but I mean, I, I don't know, man. That's weird. <laughs> it's crazy shit. Uh, up next is Nelson Cuero. I just finished watching Power Rangers in Space on Netflix. Cool series. Just now subscribed to your channel. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, comic Book Realtor. Hey, Chris. Just saying thanks for answering my questions and saying Galaxy Glider Hang 10, too. Uh, I had one more question to ask. I wanted to ask if you'll ever do a Day in the Life of Chris type video. Thank you, and wishing you nothing but the best. P.S. Sorry for not proofreading my comments, for, and your friend Chrissy uh, looks like my friend Paula, too. Oh, okay. Uh, will I ever do a Day in the Life of Chris video? That would be a very boring video. <laughs> Probably. I don't, I don't know if I'll ever do that. I'm not sure about that one. Uh, from Why Reptiles Are Cool. Nice video. I'm from Tennessee. It's cool to see you try some of our moonshine. To be honest, I haven't tried it yet, lol. Keep on rocking it, man. You should try it. If you're 21. And if you're not, I'm not advocating that. Uh, from Hello Zero. It's crazy seeing this guy now. As a child, I, uh, used to get so hyped when Power Engine Space came on, lol. I feel so old now. You feel old. Thank you, Hello Zero. <laughs> From, uh, I'm gonna butcher this name, sorry. Zyrene Leonhart. I hope, 
I hope I got that right. It might be Leonhardt. I don't know. I hope I got it right. If I... You know what? I probably didn't. So we'll just keep moving. Hey, Chris, you are my most favorite Red Ranger ever and one of the best series so far. Hopefully, I can see you in person. Best wishes and Happy New Year. Thank you, sweetie. All right. I like that. Uh, again, from Nelson Cuero. Hey, Christopher, a.k.a. Andros. No. No, no, no. Just Chris. Chris is fine. Nothing else. Just Chris. Uh, but we'll let that slide this time. Uh, happy 2017. Power Rangers of Space is my favorite series, and I was 18 when it came out. So, almost as old as me. Thank you. Uh, my favorite Megazord is Mega Voyager. What is it like driving or piloting Mega Voyager? Can you do and say Mega V3 missile fire action, please? Uh, so the Mega, those of you that don't remember, the, the Mega Voyager uh, Megazord was, um, it was the robot with the big blue dildo rocket thing. That's what it was. <laughs> was it like driving or piloting the Mega Voyager? Um, I don't know. You're gonna have to talk about Takahiro. Yeah, you're gonna have to talk to Takahiro or Hiroshi about that. They probably did it much more than I did. And can you do and say Mega V3 missile fire action? I don't. I yeah, I can do it. I just don't know exactly what the the uh, rhythm to it is. So I'll just say Mega V3 fire action. I don't know if that's the right rhythm to it. I can't remember that one. So hopefully it was. If it wasn't, I'm sorry. I tried. Last, and in no way whatsoever least, from uh, Hanamike Barson, uh, who I have spoken to before. Uh, she has ordered stuff off of my store, and she seems like a very nice girl. Uh, I'm a big fan of Power Rangers in Space, and especially Andros and Zane. Uh, I got a few questions, and hoping you would answer them. Yeah, let's do it. Number one, where did the name Cayman come from? That is my middle name. That's where it came from. So there you go. <laughs> Number two. In the show, you have the jump tubes in the Astro Mega Ship. Was it fun to slide down those jump tubes? Could you tell me something about them? Where did you end up after you went through the jump tubes? <laughs> the jump tubes were roughly three feet long. Like, something like that. That was it. So... We get onto it to, to jump into it, to slide down it, and by the time our legs have gotten all the way through and straightened out, we're already touching the floor. That's how far that went. It went nowhere. You can't, you can't see it because of the way they filmed it, but yeah, it went nowhere. It was nothing. So, yeah, that's movie magic for you. That's how that shit works. Uh, number three, in the first episode of Lost Galaxy, you see the Lost Galaxy Rangers take the Astro Mega Ship. Uh, in the Astro Mega Ship were the Morphers from the Space Rangers. In one of the last episodes from Lost Galaxy, the Astro Mega Ship gets destroyed. My question is, what would Andros, his thoughts would have been about his ship gets stolen and at the end it gets destroyed? Not to mention the loss of a dear friend, Decca. And the loss of the Astro Megazord. You see in Forever Red that Andros made the Astro Mega Ship Mark two thanks and i hope to hear from you soon you rock no you rock baby so the, the last question is how would andros i guess what would be his reaction to uh all of slavin's crew breaking my shit after they just stole it i shoot their asses all of them just shoot them all that's it I would want to do that if somebody stole my car in real life. If I had a spaceship that had like a living AI on it, oh yeah, believe me, their asses are shot. There's no fighting, no. It's just, hey Andrews, how are you doing? Doof, 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 doof. Well, you're all dead. Bye. That's it. And that is it for all the questions. So, I hope you guys appreciate that. And now, lastly, and in no way least, um... Again, we are going to have just a brief moment here to talk. Um, there is a reason why I'm about to bring up what I'm about to bring up. Uh, that is that I have gotten questions on Facebook about this. And I kind of want to point this out just so it doesn't get brought up anymore. 
On Facebook, I've been asked, hey, how's Shizuka doing? Shizuka has passed away. She passed away last week. It's only been a few days for me. And it's been really heartbreaking, to be honest. Um, I haven't really slept that much, and I haven't really ate that much in the last, uh, last few days or so. I'm not telling you guys this out of pity. I'm not, I don't want it. I don't need it. I'm not looking for it. Don't want it. I'm telling you guys this because I would really hope it that none of you bring it up. Don't write me any questions. Don't write me any comments. Really don't write me any questions about it. I don't want to hear about it. No. This is a very, very, very fresh wound for me. And I want to be left alone about that. Any other questions and stuff that you want to bring up? Sure. You know, we'll tackle those one at a time. But, um... Especially right now, this is not something that we're going to talk about, okay? So, I hope you guys can appreciate that. I hope you guys can see where I'm coming from with this. I don't want to hear it, you know? Um, she lived to be about 20. So, I mean, she had a very long life. She was with me for 20 years, guys. A long time. So, um, anyways. I know I'm ending this on really a downer. I'm very sorry about that. I try not to. I tried not to, but uh, it's just something that I wanted to get out there for you guys to hear me and maybe, you know, understand where I'm coming from with this. Um, yeah, so there we go. Mwah. I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.